Sea turtle season officially starts on May 1st. It concludes on October 31st, which is the last projected period when the nest would be hatching. Uh, May 1st is the date where we assume that nests are going to start, or mama turtles are going to start coming up onto the beaches to lay their eggs. However, this year we had a turtle lay a leatherback come and lay her nest on April 14th, and um, which is early, but also um, not unheard of because we have had early nesting before. So we're pretty excited to have a leatherback. This should be a high leatherback year for us in St. John's County. Last year we had 12, uh, and to have one early in the season is also a good indication, or at least we hope that it's a good indication that we're gonna have a higher nesting season for leatherbacks. Each turtle leaves a distinctive track on the beach when they crawl out of the ocean. Uh, we have three turtles that nest on the beaches here in St. John's County. We have loggerheads, greens, and leatherbacks. And the reason why we know this is leatherback by the track that they leave. Leatherbacks are very large animals. Their flippers are almost as long as their body. Therefore, when they crawl up onto the beach, they leave a very large, distinctive track. It looks like a tractor trailer has rolled into the ocean. Loggerheads leave an alternating pattern and greens leave a simultaneous pattern as well as the leatherbacks. The number one thing I tell people is always maintain a safe distance. That's just in general, that's everywhere. Give wildlife its space. Um, here in St. John's County, we drive on our beaches. So we do mark our nest and we have a driving lane that is uh, infrastructure is installed to let you know where you should go, where you shouldn't be. If you're on the beach and you come and you want to dig a hole, make sure you fill that hole in. If you're staying up on the, on the beach in one of the condos or homes and you come out and you set up your gear, you got to take that gear in with you at night. You can't leave it out on the beaches at night because it, it's a turtle entrapment. Also, on the, a lot of the homes, uh, there's rules for lighting. So we ask that you reduce your lighting impact, your lighting pollution. Uh, by basically not having white lights. You're supposed to have low voltage, low lights, LEDs, yellow and amber. Our staff is responsible for coming and closing the beach gates at night. Our role at the habitat conservation section is to make sure that we leave a clean slate for the turtles to come up and lay their eggs. And for when the nest hatches, the hatchlings have a safe passage down to the ocean. So our role is to come up out here at night, educate the public, let them know to take their beach gear in, close the beach gates, which they close at 7.30. When the nests start to hatch, our staff will come and remove the tire ruts in front of the sea turtle nest. And that's to make sure that once, so once the hatchlings come out of the nest, if they get stuck inside of a tire rut and they can no longer see the natural glow of the ocean and all they can see is a light down the way or a glow of something else, they'll get stuck in that rut and they'll head north and south as opposed to going to the ocean. If you see an injured turtle on the beaches, um, please, by all means, give us a call. You can call the Sheriff's Department at 904-824-8304 and they will dispatch to one of the St. John's County employees to resolve the situation.